full power from the jet engine gives us 1.5 g of acceleration. That's 30 miles an hour per second. Compare that to a normal, uh, you know, high performance supercar, whatever, something you could actually buy if you had enormous amounts of money. Supercar, you know, three, four seconds to 60 miles an hour. This car is doing the equivalent of zero to 60 in two seconds. Actually, it's a lot faster than that. It was zero to 200 miles an hour in about eight seconds today, and that's including winding the engine up and winding it back down again. Well, 1.5 G, that's pinning me back into the seat one and a half times the force of gravity, so it's quite disorientating. The inner ear suffers from what's called the somatographic illusion. That's actually a pitch up, pitch down effect. Race drivers see it a little bit. Fighter pilots see it quite a lot more because it's sustained. It is extreme in a car like this, and that's just one of those things I have to shut out and get on with driving the car. It's pretty noisy in there. I'm sitting in front of not only the world's most high performance and uh, reliable military jet engine, but also one of the noisiest. So there's a lot of noise in the cockpit, despite the molded earplugs, despite the full face helmet, it's pretty noisy in there.